Hey, what's up you guys? It's Elk here with a new video! And this time, it's a sad one because Warrior Nun got cancelled. Wow. I don't think it's it's quite hit me yet in the past, but like, damn, saying it out loud like that, it hurts. Like, I'm actually, I'm very sad and I'm shocked about this. I don't think I've ever been this upset about a show cancellation and that's saying a lot because if you're LGBT, if you're queer and you're a woman, you know that we're used to this. Like, this happens to us so often, like way too often. For some reason, this one really hits hard. Like, I don't, I don't think I've ever been this sad and disappointed about a show cancellation yeah so i wanted to make this video because in my experience it really it, it helps to get your emotions out there to be able to relate to other people um to just you know talk about it man this is this is really fucking sad like despite the fact that this happens to us so often shows like female lesbian bisexual sapphic queer shows <laughs> they get cancelled all the time and still for some naive reason i really thought we had this one season two was so successful and it makes no sense to me that it got cancelled and there's a clear pattern as to why it got cancelled oh look a rainbow like, I truly believe that, like, the barrier gays trope, like, the lesbian death trope, it, it's turning into cancelling a show before we can actually kill the lesbian off. Like, that's not any better, guys. Like, this is, like, sapphic annihilation. This really, this really hurts. Like, I've been in fandom for over 10 years. I've been through so many cancellations. I've been, you know, I've been through a lot of pain. We We all have. And I mean, fandoms are so extraordinary. I want to briefly discuss like what happened last night. So last night, after the news hit, there was this group of fans. Apparently they have been doing Twitter spaces for the past few weeks, I think. I'm not sure. I didn't know them before yesterday. But um, they just talk about war and none, talk about other bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> But so last night they started the Twitter space and they were just, you know, sharing their thoughts, their emotions. They're just all talking about their feelings about worrying on getting cancelled. And a bunch of BuzzFeed people started entering, like the the ones who interviewed KTY, aka Beatrice, like Cheska, Francesca and Brittany and also I think Nora who writes a lot from BuzzFeed I don't I'm not sure I'm sorry if I got that wrong but um it was so special because I think at one point Cheska asked or said something like I just sent KTY a message I invited her to come over and it kind of it turned into like the most beautiful chaos because we were all everyone who's listening, also the host, everyone was emotional and KTY joined in and she shared her thoughts on the show getting cancelled and it was really heartfelt. Also, the hosts were doing so well. I was so impressed by them because they were really put on the spot. They were fans. They were apparently kind of tipsy, <laughs> uh, which I, I couldn't tell myself, but that's what they said. And it just turned into like the most healing and wholesome experience. Like they ask great questions, especially for being put on the spot that badly. Like I probably, I would have shut down. I would have said something really inappropriate or awkward. And I would have deleted the Twitter app, never come back. I'm having flashbacks and it didn't even happen. They did really well. And sure, they, at some points, maybe they asked like a couple of like questions that could have stayed in a dress maybe. But they somehow they brought it like in a really charismatic and funny way. And I think KGY was just, she was really comfortable speaking to them. And I had a lot of fun listening in. And I think a lot of other people did as well. It was truly like after getting that horrible news, 
it was so healing in a way you know you know so um i'll link the space down below uh, i think she was in there for about an hour or something but pretty long actually um so yeah i'll i'll link it down i'll link it down below anyway yeah i uh wanted to quickly discuss that because i think it shows like how important having that community is also just generally how important having representation is i also think that katie y said it christina said it really well in the sense that like if you don't see yourself represented in media or anywhere um you gotta make sure to like create that representation be that representation for yourself but also for others and i think also like just sharing fighting for that representation to keep that representation it's so important as well which is what brings me to my next point because i know a lot of people have lost hope like quite obviously so like we've got the news that worry none was cancelled Oh, this sounds sappy, but like you probably know this. Like you gotta keep fighting for it because not fighting is only gonna make it worse. Like it's it's we have to fight for this because giving up and no longer caring. Like what's to enjoy about that? I'm not saying the fight is fun, but it also kind of is, isn't it? Like. <laughs> Having that content and, and being so passionate about it, even if we end up getting knocked down, like, it's so worth fighting for because, you know, the more we fight, the more we actually do gain. And I still also think that's the case for Warrior Nun. Like, it has happened before. Like, Netflix cancelled Lucifer and fans got really upset about it. They started emailing, they started tweeting and... I don't know, making petitions, and Netflix actually got them a last season. You know, we gotta, we gotta do that too. Like, we gotta fucking fight for Warrior Nun. Like, Warrior Nun warriors, am I right? <laughs> you can do that by like tweeting Netflix. Like, like they should be embarrassed for canceling literally all sapphic shows. And I don't want to diminish Warrior Nun to just the sapphic show because it's so much more than that. It was like. In all aspects it was so good which makes me more shocked about the cancellation but um, you know we have to keep fighting for it we have to you know tweet Netflix tweet the hashtag save warrior none sign the petition even if you think like you know signing a petition won't do anything if that petition reaches like thousands of signatures yeah, maybe it won't do anything, but it does like make some noise and that's what we gotta do. Fight for Warrior Nun! We all just, we gotta keep fighting! I'm sounding like a broken record, but I can't stop because if I stop and I accept that Warrior Nun is cancelled, like no, I cannot accept that. Yeah, no, like I said, Netflix should be fucking embarrassed. Like this show has everything compared to season one, like it exceeded itself in every single thing like the storyline obviously the the s cinematography the <laughs> fighting choreography <sighs> yeah no that like it makes absolutely no sense to me that netflix cancelled it so you know when you think about it like when you ask yourself why did netflix cancel it there's really only one conclusion you can come to and obviously also the fact that the show got zero promotion like anywhere they just tweeted about it a couple times i think they post like maybe one thing on instagram i don't even really remember anyway i usually i usually do reaction videos or like at least i watch something in these videos but i don't think i can right now because <sighs> watching it is gonna make me like realize so many things like that's the last we're gonna see of them like yeah, no, 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 can't do it, can't do it, not right now, so I'm just gonna keep tweeting about it instead, and just cry. Okay, guys, uh, I'm gonna end this, I just quickly wanted to make this video, so thank you guys so much for watching, sorry for talking so much, I mean, am I sorry? That's the point of these videos, isn't it? I'm just not very articulate, and I think my voice is very monotone, which is boring, so maybe, you know, you can use this as ASMR and fall asleep to me. Should I make ASMR videos? 
I love ASMR. Anyway, bye guys.